Hey there boys and girls, Lex Kilfeggy here and welcome back to another tutorial video. So today I'm going to tell you or to teach you how to do montages the way I am doing them since lots of people actually requested um, that I can make a tutorial on my specific settings and stuff and how I'm doing the montages and so on. Um, first note, this is pretty basic what I'm going to show you, it's nothing like really advanced and also um, I haven't like mastered making montages yet so um, there's lots like improving space um, from my side so if you're um, more advanced then you should probably go and look somewhere else but if you're just um, starting out if you want to make like or just get some tips on making montages this might actually help you so right here what you can see um, it might look a little confusing but it really is not and this is the dual touch which I'm making with Alpha Junkie and I'm just using it to kind of show you guys what I'm doing and yeah I mean there's just some simple stuff like for example right here um, I hope Vegas won't crash because it has been crashing lots lately so right here um, it's just some basic stuff you can see it's fading and it's lagging a little um, yeah what I'm doing for the intros is basically always like putting in the text or something and um, if you want to do the cinematics you basically have to have like a PNG file which is transparent in the middle and have black and has black bars up um, like there and there you, I think you can also do it with pen and crop, but it's a lot easier to just have like a file and to drag it over there to make like the cinematic stripes down there. Yeah, so much for that. Um, if you want to see like an... Actually right here I forgot to put them, so you can just stretch this over here. You can see now, we got the proper cinematic stuff right there now, which looks actually a lot better. And yeah, so... Um, let's start out with the um, like with how I set my clips together so I don't have like lots of effects um, mostly I'm just using speed up and um, speed down cutting out some parts so for example right here so this song is from um, machinimasound.com it's uh, some royalty free stuff and the marks right here you can use them by pressing M on your keyboard and like this it will just pop down and you can also name it if you're playing the video and you're pressing M it will just do like the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 um, etc. So right here um, I've used the markers in order to sync my video so um, every time there's like a kick or bass or drum whatever just something you could sync to just like if it's a changing note I've used um, one of those markers right here in order to sync it down here so if you can see Every time there's like a little, the, the audio goes up a little, up and down, every time there, where's a sync. So this also helps you like finding out where they are. And what I've done right here is um, my first technique. I don't know if you can see it too good with the preview. It's basically, um, once again, I hope you can see it right. I've cut out parts in between, so I've dragged the one thing from there to there. And then I've just... Um, split the, um, the clip with S there and there, for example here and here. Put out this part with um, CTRL X and drag the next part in there, then do it here and here again. S and S, CTRL X to put it out again and draw the next thing in again. And this is basically how you will have the missing parts in between, which makes it um, basically sync to you. Then again, of course, you can sync um, shots like I'm doing right here. Again, I hope you can see this right because my Vegas has been cr really crappy. Then again, um, for example, right here is another sync which I haven't marked. And I went from normal speed right here to slow mo right there. And you can just do it by holding down CTRL and like stretching the file like this. And you should definitely have like or should record in 60 FPS if you want to slow um, a smooth slow mo. You can also put on an envel mask, it's called, I guess, um, so um, which is called velocity, which also will um, help you to sync your shots. I think it works actually better than a stretching, a stretching with uh, which I'm doing right now. But like I said, I haven't mastered it completely, and that's uh, that's basically how I am doing it right now. And yeah, um, if your shots are like not synced up, you can always, for example, right here, I sped up this clip. If you can see it first. So this is sped up, here's slow mo, you can see it at the zigzag lines. The really small ones are um, speed up and the slow ones are slowed down, I mean it's pretty obvious. And yeah, this is basically all I'm doing for um, the syncing and I'm just cutting the clips depending on where I want to sync it. And there's not like um, much more to it actually. So I would say let's go over some more um, uh, to the settings 
and the actual effects um, which I'm using. Um, really quick before I go there, if you're wondering, um, so like I said, it's a dual touch, so um, the clips are all different in quality, so I've put them like here and there because some are in AVI, some are in MP4, some are in WNV, and I just put them like so I could like keep track of them. And like I said, you can always put text and stuff. You should always put it in a new line, new video track, and not on the same thing because it just messes up the stuff. Thanks. 